Good morning. It's a Saturday morning and it's always a privilege and a joy, great excitement to come to us teaching on the body uh, of Christ, teaching the body of Christ. Amen. Um, and if you've been following us the past uh, uh, three weeks, no, three, yes, four, this is the fourth week we're, we're looking at the gifts of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit. And we said that these are gifts that are given to us by the Spirit of God that is inside of us. And we also said that you can operate in any of these gifts depending on the need that is in the situation or the situation at hand. If you and the Holy Spirit have a fellowship relationship, He can operate and function through you in any of the gifts whenever. No, it's not true. There's a lie out there that only the prophets can function in all the gifts of the Spirit. It's not true. It's not limited to prophets or apostles only. It's limited to it's available to everyone that has the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. So this um, this way we're going to look a little bit on the word of wisdom. We've been looking at the word of wisdom. Remember how wonderful we saw the importance of walking in the word of wisdom. And we also look at the fact that it's important in our opinion that the word of wisdom is rightfully placed in the right place. You will want to say that no, word of knowledge should have come before word of wisdom because you need to have knowledge before you have wisdom. But no, that is showing us something. Um, I don't personally think they are arranged in order of importance, but I think they are arranged in order of usefulness. Amen. They are arranged in order of usefulness. Those are the things we need so much. There is just an ease in ministry when you walk in the in, in in the gift called the word of wisdom it gives you a lot of ease we and i saw how jesus used it with a woman at the well when he met the woman at the well right so i encourage you to we did encourage you to pray about this particular gift of the word of wisdom and ask daddy to help you to walk in it now some things we also said last week that we have to reiterate is the fact that the word the gift of the word of wisdom is not the gift of wisdom. Definitely, there is something called the gift of wisdom, which comes with the Holy Spirit as well. So, but here, the gift of the word of wisdom is not the gift of wisdom. Wisdom comes to every child of God has wisdom in them when they receive the Holy Spirit. There's a measure of the wisdom of God that is deposited in you because you have the Holy Spirit. But this right here, look at it well, it said a word of wisdom. Word of wisdom, right? So it is the word that you need for a particular situation, the solution for a particular knowledge that you've, you've, you've acquired or that the Spirit of God has revealed in you or through you to help somebody. Amen? Now, we have said a lot about the word of wisdom and we want to be able to transition into the word of knowledge. Amen. Now, I would like for you to, to send us questions. If there's something, definitely we cannot teach every little bit and details of every gift. But we'll touch the main things and we'll go a little bit deeper to the point where you can have a walking knowledge. To the point where you cannot, nobody can um, call you ignorant when it comes to the gifts of the spirit right because the bible says don't be ignorant that's what we're fighting we're fighting against ignorance in the body of christ we're called to build the body that to the point where they will not be toasted um to and fro we're building the body uh, a body that can stand up and say no this is not the word this is what the word says amen so the word the word uh, the gift of the word of wisdom is one of the best you want to work in. It's one of the most awesome you want to work in. Because what's the need? Knowing something that somebody is going through, but then you don't know what to do or what to tell them to do about the situation. You remember us saying that last week? So it's good to not forget those uh, uh, main power points from the word of wisdom. This week we're transitioning. Yes, so it's always, always important to know this and know how to work in them. Amen. Yes, this way we're transitioning 
into the the word of knowledge the word of knowledge now it's not talking about now i'm going to laugh because <laughs> i'm going to say something that you will laugh this is not talking about knowledge it's not talking about education amen the word of knowledge is not talking about um the knowledge of law the knowledge of history geography no the word the gift of the word of knowledge is not um talking about a uh, prior knowledge it's not talking about something you already knew before time for example you're in a meeting and you hear a man of god say there's somebody here right most gifts will start with the the gift of of most manifestations right most demonstration or administrations of all the other gifts will start most will start with the word of knowledge we hear a man of god will say there's somebody in here right and most of the time, I'm telling you, I don't care if some people manipulate and do what they call arrangements. There is the true gift of knowledge. Amen. There is a true gift of knowledge. That's why you want to know this, pray about it, so you can operate in the genuine, true uh, gifts of the Spirit. All of them. Remember, we said you can operate in all of them. Amen. Now, the word of knowledge here is talking about you having a knowledge about something that naturally you will not. You understanding, getting an understanding of a situation that naturally you will not. That's why it's the gift. Is what? The gift of the word of knowledge. It's very important. The gift of the word of knowledge. Something that in the normal, you would not even know. But then it's revealed to you. Now, I do a lot of mentoring by the grace of God. And they are the people that I truly mentor, one of the ways I know they are truly submitted is that I will be in my house and I will have word of knowledge, sometimes word of wisdom about things they are going through or things they will go through. And then by the time they come to ask me about that situation, I already knew what the wisdom is. Amen. Now, I, I'm not saying this about me to say that I'm the it. I'm just saying, remember, we already said, if you walk in all of this, it's not because you're the it. It's just because the body of Christ needs you. Amen. Now, let's add this to it. So why would daddy come to me and tell me those things even before they come? It's the body of Christ. Remember, it's one body. He's telling me those things. One, to confirm to me that I know there's a relationship here. I know that this person is submitted to you. I want you, because one of the things you want to be able to watch out for is don't have a mentor that want to bring you up in the Lord in their understanding. You don't want, you don't want to put your life, your destiny um, in the hands of a mentor that depends solely on book work. Or what they've studied from school or what they've been trained to do as mentors you want to place your life in the hand of a mentor that can hear God for you or at least God can come talk to them about you and help you amen so what are we saying here? We're saying a word of knowledge works most of the time with the word of wisdom above all the word of knowledge is the beginning of most of the other gifts of the spirit for example prophecy will start like that the same thing with healing somebody will be like there's somebody here suffering with cancer that's a word of knowledge right there then you will come out and you'll be healed right um miracles all almost all of them word of prophecy you know prophet through a knowledge he gives you one word and then you believe that when he opens it up so word of knowledge is very important and this is how much we want to look when it comes to um, the word of knowledge. If you have any questions about the word of knowledge, please let us know and we will say more about it. Um, that's why we're leaving it here for word of knowledge. Next week, we might touch a little bit, a little bit more on the word of knowledge, but that's how much we want to put out there for word of knowledge. So cherish all of this gift. I'm telling you, word of knowledge is one of the best. I know I said that for word of wisdom, but listen, all of these gifts are awesome. Amen. Pray for tomorrow's service right set your offering aside pray about your offering don't give your offering emotionally no make your offering relationship with the lord okay this is what i'm saying make your giving make your offering 
a relational thing with the father. Don't ever give to God rushing. Never give to God because somebody pushed you. Never give to God because you feel like you just have to give. Make your giving a relational thing. Some people say you have to give your tithe, the first, the top, the all of that is awesome. But I'm telling you, there are times when you are at a place where you have to hold that offering and your tithe and pray about it and give it the next week. That is fine with daddy. As long as it's a relational thing, as long as you and him are one on one and he knows your heart. Listen, the kingdom is real. Don't do anything emotionally. Don't do things because you feel, do them because you know them and practice them right. Amen. Enjoy your weekend. Make sure you enjoy. Life is a privilege. Amen. Amen and amen.